welcome to Rat You Summer Book Club. Um, the book I'm going to be reading today is Wilfred Gordon McDonald Partridge by Mem Fox, illustrated by Julie Vivas. Now I have to tell you, I love Mem Fox. I think Mem Fox picks the perfect words to go in just about every situation. Um, and if you can get through this book without shedding a few tears, then you are a stronger person than I am. So let's get started. Wilfred Gordon McDonald Partridge. There once was a small boy called Wilfred Gordon McDonald Partridge, and what's more, he wasn't very old either. He be. He was. Was. He was not. Not. Not very old. Old. He was not old. His house was next door to an old people's house, and he knew all the people that lived there. And there were a lot of old, old, old people that lived that lived at that house. Live. That lived. Lived. That lived there at that house. Hmm. He liked Mrs. Jordan who played the organ. Mrs. Jordan who played the organ. He listened to Mr. Hosking who told him scary stories. Whoa, I don't know about you, but I, I do not, not like, like stories that are very, very scary. I do not like stories that are scary. scary. No. They are too scary for me. Too scary for me. Me. I'm a bit of a chicken. He played with Mr. Tippett, who was crazy about cricket. Ah, crazy about cricket. Crazy, crazy, crazy about, about about cricket meant that he he, he really liked it. Like. Oops. He really liked it. Liked. Liked it a lot. He ran errands for Miss Mitchell, Mitchell, who walked with a wooden stick. He admired Mr. Drysdale, who had a voice like a giant. Whoa! And I will tell you, he, he, he looks like, like, a giant. He's enormous. Enormous. And really, huge. Really huge really, really huge, that Mr. Drysdale. But, we'll take a look at her. His favorite person of all was Miss Nancy Allison Delacourt. Cooper. Oh gosh, I gotta read that better. But his favorite person of all was Miss Nancy Allison Delacourt Cooper because she had four names just like him. Just like. Like. Like him. Him. Mm, that made him feel really good that they were the same that way. He called her Miss Nancy and he told her all his secrets. He. He. He liked. Like. He liked. Liked. To tell her with his mouth. He liked to tell her, tell, tell her his secrets. He liked to tell. Hmm. Okay, get ready. Here might be a little sad part. One day, Wilfred Gordon heard his mother and father talking about Miss Nancy. Now they are sitting on the couch, and they, they, they. Be. They are, 
They are with their mouths. Talk. Talking. Talking. They are talking. Poor old thing, said his mother. Why is she a poor old thing, asked Wilfred Gordon. Because she's lost her memory, said his father. Oh, my. She. She. She lost. Lose. Lost. Lost. Lost her memory. That's what you do with your mind when you re. Remember. Remember. Remembering. Remembering. Is now very, very hard. Hard. Hard for her. Very hard. It isn't surprising, said his mother. After all, she is 96, and we know that. That. That is very old. Old. 96. What's a memory, asked Wilfred Gordon. He was always asking questions. Oh boy, I know that. That's like my grandkids. They are always, always, and always, always using their mouth to ask, ask, ask me questions all the time, <laughs> all the time. It is something you remember, said his father. A memory is something, something you, you, with your mind, remember. Remember. That is a memory. But Wilfred Gordon wanted to know more, so he called on Miss Jordan, who played the organ. What's a memory? he asked. Something warm, my child. Something warm. Something. Something warm. Warm. That's what a memory is. Something warm. Hmm. We have to remember that. He called on Mr. Hosking, who told him scary stories. What's a memory, he asked. Something from long ago, me lad. Something from long ago. Something. Something from. From. Let's go in time. Something from long ago. Long time. A long time ago. Mm. Wow. He called on Mr. Tippet, who was crazy about cricket. What's a memory? he asked. Something that makes you cry, my boy. Something that makes you cry. Oh, memory is something. Something. That makes. Make. That makes. Makes. Makes you. You. Cry. Hmm. I'm wondering if it would be in heart. Yeah, because when you feel something, cry. you might cry. Exactly. Something that makes you cry. He called on Miss Mitchell, who walked with a wooden stick. What's a memory, he asked. Boy. He. 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 Asked. Oh, goodness, with his mouth. He asked, asked. so many asked. questions. He asked so many questions. What's a memory, he asked. Something that makes you laugh, my darling. Something that makes you laugh. Something. Something that makes. 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 Makes you. You. Oh, my gosh, and I love this. Something that makes you Laugh. Laugh. Like a good joke. Joke. Makes you laugh. Laugh. Something that makes you laugh. He called on Mr. Drysdale, who had a voice like a giant. Boy, he looks like a giant too, doesn't he? What's a memory, he asked. Something as precious as gold, young man. Something as precious as gold. Something. Something that is very, something that is very, very precious. Precious, another word for precious is something that's very, very special. 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 That would be another 
time. Well, remind me later about those updates. Something that's very, very special. 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 Mm. Is precious as gold. So, Wilfred Gordon went home again to look for memories for Miss Nancy because she had lost her own. So there he is, that sweet boy. He. 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 Is. He is. Looking. Hmm, let's see. He is looking. I think we would do that with our body, wouldn't we? He is. Oh gosh, no, I think I put it in school. Hmm, he is. Look. Because the teacher's always saying, look, look, look. Looking. He is looking for memories. He is looking for. For. For things to remember. Remember. Hmm. Remember. All right, let's see if he can find memories. I don't know. He looked for the shoe box of shells he had found long ago last summer and put them gently in a basket. Wow, so he, he, he found, or he got, get, he got, got, got some shells. Hmm. He found a puppet on strings which always made everyone laugh. And he put that in the basket, too. Oh, a memory that, that makes, makes, I remember, makes, makes you, you, makes you laugh. Laugh. Makes you laugh. <laughs> I think, I, I think that bird think. is funny. Is very, funny. very funny <laughs> when you look at it. He remembered with sadness the medal which his grandfather had given him, and he placed it gently next to the shells. He was remembering with his mind. He was remembering Remember. that medal remembering. From, his, from his grandfather, and he put it next to the shells. That part always makes me sad. I think that's a sad part of the book. Next he found his football, which was as precious as gold. That football was very, very, remember the word we used for precious. It was very, very special. Special. Very special. special. And I bet he, he, he just loved with his whole heart. Love. He loved Loved. Loved that football. He loved it. And last of all, on his way to Miss Nancy's, he went into the hen house and took a fresh, warm egg from under a hen. He got something. He. He. He got something. Get. Got. Got something. Something. That was very, very Warm. Warm. Got something that was very, very warm. Hmm. I wonder if this is going to work. Do you think this will help Miss Nancy? What do you think? Then Wilfred Gordon called on Miss Nancy and gave her the things one by one. What a dear, strange child to bring me all these wonderful things, thought Miss Nancy. But then she started to remember. Wow. She, she, she started to, with her mind, she started to remember. Remember. Oh, I bet, I bet, I, I'm just Betting, I think, think that she must have felt, feel, felt, felt so, so happy. Whoops, there it is right there. 
felt so happy. So happy to be able to remember. She held the warm egg and told Wilfred Gordon about the tiny speckled blue eggs she had once found in a bird's nest in her aunt's garden. She, 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 with her mind, remember, remembered, remembered, she remembered. Wow, how exciting. She put the shell to her ear and remembered going to the beach by tram long ago. Tram, that's what they used to call trains long ago. And how hot she had felt in her button-up boots. Well, I think she took care of that problem, didn't she? I think that she, she, she took with her hands, she, take, take. Took. She took off. She took off. Off. Off those boots. That felt pretty good to take them off, didn't it? Let's turn the page. She touched the metal and talked sadly of a big brother she had loved who had gone to the war and never returned. This is the part that makes me really sad. Really sad. Sad. Because it reminds me of when my son, it's what I remember, I, I remember in my mind. Remember. When my son was in Iraq and how scared I was. She smiled at the puppet on strings and remembered the one she had shown to her sister and how she had laughed with a mouthful of porridge. Oh my gosh, I bet that porridge came, came out of her mouth. That's what I'm I, getting. I bet it came out of her mouth because she was laughing, laugh, laughing, laughing so hard. Hard. She was laughing so hard that it just came right out of her mouth. She bounced the football to Wilfred Gordon and remembered the day she had met him and all the secrets they had told. I miss Nancy. She was bouncing that ball with her hand. Bounced. She bounced that ball. Bounced that and she remembered remember she remembered when they first remember. met how lovely is that and the two of them smiled and smiled because Miss Nancy's memory had been found again by a small boy who wasn't very old either wow he 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 Found. Find. He found. Found. Found her memories. He helped her to remember. Remember. Hmm. The end. Gosh, I hope you liked that book. Wilfred Gordon McDonald Partridge by Mem Fox, illustrated by Julie Vivas. There were parts of that book that made me laugh, and there was even one part that made me cry a little. Maybe you'll read it again, and you'll decide which parts make you laugh and make you cry. Thanks.